Okay, hello, my name is Greg Dixon uh, from Tell Your Story Productions. That's the website is tellyourstory.productions. Here, I'm gonna talk a little bit about scanning photos. You have a mountain of family photos and they all come in all shapes and sizes and then you, it's a tedious job to scan them and you have to be careful that you don't pick the wrong resolution and then you end up with scans that are not usable. So here, uh, here's an example, we have some sort of various sizes here and you know here's something that's more or less 8 by 10 um, yeah so we have a variety of sizes um, I have a little presentation that I'm going to run through here some presentation slides to, to show you how to what the target is and what what some um, strategies are okay So first of all, here's uh, <laughs> this is at Bonnie's father's place, and um, there are mountains of tons of boxes, and they've had taken a couple of shots at organizing and uh, scanning these in the past, and continue to go. It's a it's kind of a big job. Um, so and you know you have again a variety of photos, black and white, color, different sizes uh, here. Um, we have a little scan and can uh, scan and uh, Canon <laughs> Canon scanner. There we go, a Canon scanner. Um, and its main advantage is it's USB driven, so you can take a laptop. If we go to a client uh, site, we can take this and scan. And um, and here we have uh, some of the photos. We have the different varieties, different sizes of photos. So that is our as our challenge. And here, this is the way, uh, this little chart is, is um, designed to try to explain uh, how you figure out the scanning resolution. So, so the, the larger box on the right is, in, is, represents an 8 inch by 10 inch print. And let's say that all the things we scan, we want to print as 8, eight inch by 10 inch prints. So um, the standard resolution that gives a good result is 300 dots per inch, so or 300 pixels per inch. And so, if you calculate 8 times 300 at the at the narrow end, is 2,400 pixels wide. And then, if you go uh, the the 10-inch side is 10 by 300, which is 3,000 pixels. And so, really, and going backwards, that's 300 DPI. Um, so what that means is if you're going to print something at, at eight, on an 8 by 10 uh, photo paper, uh, it needs to be three, more than 3,000 pixels on the longest dimension and more than 2,400 on the, the narrowest one. Um, not all photos are exactly this aspect, so, so it's a variation, but that's a ballpark figure. So if we look at the smallest one, so you've got um, the small on the left-hand side, which is 2 inches by 2.5 inches, and the calculation there is if you want it to be um, if you want it to be 2,400 pixels uh, wide, so to 2,400 divided by two is 1,200 DPI. And then on the on the long side, the two and a half inch side, um, 3,000 by two and a half comes up with 1,200 DPI. So that means you have to scan at at least 1,200 DPI in order to get something that you can print. 8 by 10 at 300 dots per inch. I uh, hope that makes sense. Okay, and the next one here is a 4 by 5. This is probably a fairly common size. You're going to go 4 by 5, 4 by 6 uh, prints, 5 by 7 sometimes. Anyway, here, um, here the calculation is 2400 divided by 4 inches, and it comes up with 600 dpi. And then uh, again, on the long side, the largest side, um, 3,000 divided by 5, again, 600 DPI. So that's um, you know, fairly, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a moderate resolution, 600 DPI. So if you had a bunch of photos like that, if you had 600, 800, that would probably work. So let's go to the next one here. So we have an Epson scanner. We've got uh, the Canon, and we also have an Epson scanner. I've got the Epson scanner hooked up to Photoshop, so I'm going to do a demonstration here. What I'm showing here is the sort of the medium size image on the photo on the left and then a smaller black and white one on the right and we'll go there and I've, I've just put them on the on the bed 
Normally when I'm scanning, I'm probably be getting up and putting one at a time on there, but just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to put two on. And um, anyway, okay, so that's the end of the presentation. Uh, I now have a little video that, uh, that will show um, the scanning process. Okay, okay. So here we are, here we are in Photoshop. And I have a couple of photos of two different sizes on the scanner, and we're going to try to import them and just look at a, at a few few things here. So I right, the file, and then uh, import, import from device. And there's, um, there's the Epson scanner. And uh, I'm just going to click on the overview. So it triggers the scanner to scan what's on the, on the scanner bed. Um, it's a good idea to, to not assume that what, what it's uh, showing is still on the scanner bed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, the larger photo here with Sam. And um, so what we're aiming for is to have uh, 3,000 um, pixels on the longest side because we're going to do uh, a, print at 8 by 10 at 300 dots per inch. And so that works out to just over about exactly 3,000 on the longest edge. So here, uh, we can see now um, in the Epson, it's showing way too much. So this is way too much resolution. So let's try 400. Uh, that's still pretty big. Um, 300. OK. That's got to be a little bit larger than we need, but it's perfect. Um, and then uh, uh, the photo I know is in color, so I'm going to change that to color. And uh, okay, and we're just going to scan. Takes a few seconds to scan here. And and there we have it. So. I noticed I got I didn't get the edge quite right here, so we're going to crop. Um, so there's a crop symbol here, and it's set to four by eight, which is the same as eight by ten. So we can position this. Uh, oops. So. Zip the scanner. We got this, these bars on the edge here that we can drag them in. So we're going to drag that in a little bit from the outside and then move this. Uh, we'll probably scan, crop it in a little bit from that side too and just position. So that looks pretty good. Good for now. And uh, we'll crop it. That's 8 by 10. Uh, I'm just going to save. And I probably just should have done actually save as would have been better. Um, and we just call this uh, Sam 8 by 10. And to download a JPEG looks OK. And uh, we'll set this. Set this to 11 maximum. That's pretty high resolution. And um, Okay, so that's so that's one, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll 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 scan the much smaller image here. So um, import images from device. Okay, what we're going to do here is um, it's, we got it set to detect and closing box, but we should be able to just select this item here, and there we go. And uh, well, now, uh, if you remember, we're aiming for to print uh, 8 by 10 at 300 dots per inch. And so if we just leave it at the 300 DPI with a small image here, uh, we don't have nearly enough dots. Um, so we need to bump it up. And let's, let's see what 1200 does. Uh, it's not quite enough for 3000. The next bump up is 1600. Um, and we'll do that. This is a little bit larger for the number of pixels, but it's better to have too many pixels than not enough because we're going to do some cropping. So uh, it's a black and white photo, so we'll choose black and white. And um, here we go. Again, it'll take a few seconds to scan.
more than a few seconds to scan. So yeah, <laughs> so here, welcome to the life of scanning. <laughs> it's mind-numbing work. Uh, you s spend a lot of time waiting for the scanner to go. So the you know the faster the scanner, the faster the computer, the better. Um, the higher the resolution you scan at, the slower it's going to be. Uh, so there we go. So there we have. Uh, here's Sam again at, at uh, when he was much younger, and we've got the um, the cropping to eight by ten. So we've got a few extra things on the outside. We'll just um, that's probably okay. Just check that and scan it. Um, it's got a few issues here. Uh, with one of the th reasons I like Photoshop is you can you can go and do some corrections right here on the spot. There's a little healing brush that heals some things. Uh, this gouge in his cheek is going to be take more more than um, more than that. I'll make this a little bit larger and uh, see if a miracle happens. Yeah, it's not perfect. Um, anyway, uh, the other thing we can do is we can do um, an image uh, auto tone. So that makes it more, um, gives it more contrast. Uh, that might be a little bit too much, but that's all we're going to do for now. And, uh, and again, we'll do save as scan. We'll call this Sam 8 by 10 because again there are our purpose here is to print out on 8 by 10 paper by 300 inches so we'll just um save that again it'll ask for the compression rate and um and we should be good So there you have it. There we have a demonstration of the calculations and the scanning in order to uh, scan your images. Uh, just in review, we really want to, if we're going to print but on 8 by 10 photo paper, uh, the ideal um, resolution, print resolution is 300 dots per inch. So working backwards, uh, 10 inches uh, times 300 dots per inch is 3,000 pixels on the widest dimension. So what we did is we went back with the smaller images. We cut, we scanned at a much higher resolution at uh, 1,600 in order for that little two by two and a half inch photo. And um, so you need to adjust for for each one. Um, you will be tempted to just do bulk scanning and just use the same uh, settings for everything. Uh, but what you may end up well, I have to say, if you do do that, scan at 1600 DPI, and then you'll catch everything, but you'll end up with some massive files. And, uh, you know, time's the essence, you can do that. But most of the time, it's worth taking the time and, and scanning and cropping as you go to make sure you got what you what you, what you need. Anyway, that's all I have to say for, for now. And um, come visit us at tellyourstory.productions. Uh, there will be more training in this series, which I'm calling the Story Production Secrets. And um, anyway, have fun. <laughs>